in the earlier lecture we covered merge sort and in this one we'll be covering quick sort just like merge sort quick sort is also based on partitioning basically over here we pick an element dynamically and in merge sort we kind of had the partition value predefined in our example it was set to 3 now here in quick sort we pick an element and call it as a pivot element using that pivot element we partition the list now there are many versions of uh, choosing which element can be treated as a pivot element in this example we are treating the last element of the collection as the pivot element in some cases we can choose the first element as pivot and in some other cases any random value can be picked as a pivot element now the key process over here is the partitioning so basically what we do is we pick a pivot element we based on that divide the collection into low and high value sets now anything which is lower than the pivot element goes on the lower list and anything which is higher than the pivot element goes on the higher set and this process is repeated recursively until we get a sorted list so over here we have two methods quick sort and partition quick sort basically makes use of the partition so if you see in our programs we have a collection of numbers and then over here we are doing the quick sort and we are passing the collection and then we are saying the low value is zero so the first element is zero and uh, based on the index position total minus one that is the last value in the list and we are calling it as low and high parameters now we'll go inside this method quick sort and what we are doing first is we are checking whether the value low is less than high and if that is true we are creating a partition now partition method accepts the numbers array low and high and over here if I take you inside the partition method you will see that first of all based on the index position that high is representing we are getting the pivot element and we are storing it over here and then another variable is set as i and that is being set as low minus one so in this case i is going to be set as a minus one now we are looping through low to high so here you can see we have this for loop j equals low so low was set to zero and j less than high high initially was set to 10 as our collection had 11 elements so it is going to run from zero to nine and here we are checking during this process whether the number at position j or index position j is less than pivot now pivot as you can see is the last element so if this statement is true we are incrementing the value of i and then we are swapping or interchanging the values as you can see now once this whole process is complete we have another set of swapping to be made and here we have created another variable temporary one and here we are saying numbers dot get i plus one now after this loop has completed i will have a different value and based on this index position it will have a value over here temp one and then we say numbers dot set i plus one numbers dot get high and similarly numbers dot set high temp one so let's go ahead and run it one loop to see it in action so i'll be running it now over here you can see low is currently zero high is 10 and this is the array collection that we have total of 11 items in it and these are the items that we have in our collection now as this condition is set to true we'll be going next and here you can see we are going inside the partition method let's go inside the partition method now and here we have a breakpoint already so we'll hit it over here and if I move next you will see the pivot element is set as 96 and that is the last element in our collection now let's move further so here you can see current value of j as of now is 0 and if I say numbers dot get j 
and let's do a quick watch over here it is returning 96 so value at j is also 96 over here and the pivot value is also 96 now this condition obviously is not going to satisfy so what it will do it will simply skip this thing altogether let's have another breakpoint set over here and as you can see the value of j keeps on looping through so currently it's set to 1 now if you see the value at index position 1 in the collection is 15 now 15 is obviously less than 96 so here it will go inside this loop and it will increment the and it will increment the value of i over here let's have another breakpoint and click continue so the value of i is now set to 0 and here if you see numbers dot get of i so at index position 0 the value that we currently have is 96 and that is what will be assigned to the variable temp so let's move ahead and here you can see the variable has been assigned the value 96 now and then what we are doing we are setting the value at index position 0 so i is set to 0 and numbers dot get of j if you see is 15 so if i do a quick watch over here this is the value so this is what we are setting at index position 0 now and once that's done let's move to the next line and if I now show you numbers and here in a list you'll see at index position 0 we have 15 and temp is having 96 now at this index position we'll be swapping out it with temp so let's proceed now and finally see what is the status so here you can see at index position 0 the value is 15 now and at index position 1 it has been swapped with the temp value 96 and once that's done it will continue its process and finally when it will reach at this point you'll notice the the value of i is currently set to 8 and here we are trying to get the next item so i plus 1 and if I show you using quick watch this is the value we are getting at index position 9 so that value is then stored over here inside the variable temp1 and then again we do this swapping over here as you can see so at index position 9 we are setting the value stored at this index position represented by the value high so let's see doing a quick watch this also is currently 96 and if I see the value of high over here you can see it's index position 10 so that value is then stored over here at index position 9 and we are again doing a swapping so at high we are again setting temp 1 so after doing that it is going to return this value i plus 1 as the pivot value so now if I go and take a look at numbers over here in a list you'll see 15, 66, 90, 35, 94, 71 and here 96, 96. So this process will keep on repeating until we have this condition low is less than high. So as soon as this condition is false we'll skip it and we'll have our sorted list. So let's run it completely now to see it in action and there you go you have the sorted list now coming up 14 15 34 35 61 66 71 90 94 96 so that's how quick sorting works